What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Community Voices. I'm your host, Omar, Senior Cultural Partnership Strategist for Finish Line JD Sports. And today, we've got a very special episode. we got three future Hall of Famers, some philanthropists, Olympians, not enough superlatives to describe you guys. So we got Chris Paul, Carmelo Anthony, and Dwayne Wade. Welcome, fellas. What's going on? Cool. So I think the world knows how tight you guys are. So speak to, you know, your relationship and how you all came together to put together the social change fund. And I don't know them like that. <laughs> <laughs> if you started, uh, you might as well, you might as well start it off. Uh, well, because I'm the oldest. Is that why I got to start it off? Yeah. I actually said C. I actually said oh, C. Oh, said okay. C. My bad. Go ahead, C. The youngest, the youngest. The youngest. Oh, man. Uh, Man, it's, it's crazy. Over the years, obviously, uh, we had an opportunity to, to get to know each other through basketball, right? Through sport. But as I'm sure a lot of people know, sometimes through sport, you become family, right? Sometimes throughout everything, you have guys that's just teammates, you know? And that's okay, too. It's like, yo, what up, what up? You good? All right, cool. You play for a season, play for a couple seasons, but we got a chance to spend real time over the summers and... You know, our kids are, you know, brothers, cousins, however you want to look at it, but we are a real family. And so over the years, we've had an opportunity to do a number of things together, right? But nothing like the social change fund. We've all been sort of blazing our own paths, whether it be with our foundations, doing, doing something. And we all do great work, but we finally realized that, you know, if we are as tight as we say that we are, how strong can we be together? Right. And in sport, they always say, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. And that was somewhat of our plan here. Cool. So speaking of like your childhood and growing up between we got Baltimore with Melo, Winston-Salem with Chris and Chicago, how have like your experiences during the youth shaped what you're doing off the court today? Uh, I'll jump in. I think... You know, obviously coming from Chicago, man, you guys have heard all the stories and, you know, it's, it's definitely real, you know, growing up in that city um, and being able to come out of it, you know, is a blessing. And so to be in a position that all three of us are in of growing up, you know, in inner cities um, or less fortunate than others, to be in a position that we're in to be able to do something like this, to be able to create a fund, um, to be able to go back into those communities, right, and to be able to to, to put something together to be able to really support not only the communities, but the people in the communities that are really on the ground, that's really doing the work. Um, I think for me, that's that's legacy, right? That's that's what this is all about. This was given this opportunity to play the game of basketball um, has given all three of us. So I think when it's all said and done, social change from be one of the most impactful things that we've ever done for our communities. Cool. And then how have your, your passion to serving the community and just giving back, how has it developed over the years from like, you know, being a rookie and then leading up to now? Mm. <laughs> rookie, I don't even remember rookie year. <laughs> I, 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 I think again, our, our, all of our experiences that we've, that we've been through, that we've experienced from a rookie up until now has led us to this point where we're able to sit down at the table and, and, and talk about real change. Mm -hmm. uh, everything that, that I've been through in, in Denver early on, CP in New Orleans, D-Way to Miami, those experiences made us and, and helped us observe the world that's around us to really figure out what we want to do, how we want to do it. It took some time for us to get to this point, but now that we're here, we see the impact that we, us three actually have and what's actually going on out there in the world where we can kind of plug and play. Um, I was, our strong suits, you know, my strong suit is different than CP's, which is different than D-Way's. And I think that's what make this social change fund that, you know, just that robust and that important. For sure. And that's a good, you know, segue into what the league has done to highlight, using their platform to highlight, you know, all the injustices going on within black and brown communities. So how important, how important is it for you guys to, you know, leverage your platforms and, you know, bring awareness to these things? Uh, I, I think it's real important. I think it's real important. And we have so many different platforms, right? Like we all have different followings. There's different people who follow me, who follow Melo, who follow D. And with D, he has a platform also now where he gets to speak about the game, right? Like he really gets to, you know, 
while we're not playing, he gets to talk to the fans and stuff like that. So everyone plays a role in everything that's taking place. And me and Melo got a chance to be in the bubble and really talk to guys. Like in our league, when you play games, usually after the game, you just say, all right, dog, good game. Your family good? <laughs> family good? All right. But, but you don't really know if the person's family good. In that bubble, we got a real chance to talk to guys, <laughs> like figure out each other's headspace and what's going on. And I, I'll forever look back at this bubble as maybe like a changing point because uh, it's sort of a togetherness. And one thing we all know as players is that, look, you can hoop all day, play in these games, dunk, shoot, whatever you want to. But when you walk out the arena, you don't walk out with your uniform on. You walk out as a black man, as a father, as a husband, and that's what we all uh, realize. And also to that point, oh, I mean, you know, and CP said it, I mean, it's just understanding that we have individually, we have a reach, right? And, but together that reach is that just that much more important, you know, for all the, the issues that we're dealing with in the black community, right? We can all individually go out and, and make a difference. We've all are doing that in our own individual, you know, foundations and with our families. But to be able to team to get come together and say, okay, our reach together is going to be even longer. Um, you know, I think it's important. And also not just us three, understanding that we are the ones who, you know, are leading this, but we also got other guys that's coming on, on a part of it, right? To be able to talk to Donovan Mitchell and say, what is your passion? What do you want to do for your community where you're from? And be able to have him and others a part of this social change fund. You know, our reach is greater than, you know, just one person. Our reach can now continue to go to other NBA players, to so other people outside of the NBA now that they get to hear everything that we're doing from different platforms, you know, that we all have. Absolutely. Cool. And, and also too, I mean, I know we're talking about voting, but you know, the social change fund is not just about voting. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, we're trying to change a culture, you know, whether it's, you know, passions of CP, like education and health, right? Um, or, you know, whether we have a partner like one of CP partners at State Farm. Mm -hmm. And State Farm coming on board and, and helping us making sure that we can you know, we can provide these young, you know, black, you know, kids in these communities and these edu these black educators uh, with the things that they need, right? With the with the laptops and the headphones and just helping us provide, um, you know, certain people like we keep saying that's doing the work with the things they need to continue to do their work and do their work even better. Mm -hmm. So we talk about the social change fund. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna focus on voting right now, but we also gonna focus on you know from the bottom to the top of building a young individual up. Uh, from what they eat, you know, from how they educate um, into everything else. So, you know, to have brands like a State Farm, like a Lyft and other people to come on board and say, okay, we all in with, the, with what you guys are trying to do. Uh, that's the only way we can be successful as, you know, trying to change the way that our community has, you know, has have been, you know, over the last whatever years we want to say, 400 yeah. years. <laughs> or longer than that. <laughs> <laughs> plus years, let me do plus, my bad. <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, JD Sports and Finish Line, we love what you're doing between, like, voting and the social change fund. And uh, Muhammad Ali once said, uh, service to others is the rent you pay for your room here on Earth. And we want to help, you know, your rent is definitely paid based on the work you've been doing. And we definitely want to help you continue to pay that rent. So I want to pull out the checkbook real quick. Mm. Well, I got a nice modest donation of a quarter million to the social I like that. I like that. <laughs> Mm. Gee, to put the money where your mouth at. Hey, step up there. Hey. Man. Step up there. Man, thank y'all. For real. Thank y'all. Yeah, of Absolutely. course. You know, continue to work. 250 is cool. 250K. Man, if y'all got another 250, we'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> he knew he was going to say that. Hey, after this call, too, Melo, call me. We got to settle you know, a little. <laughs> Take it out to 250. Get five. And then we also want to give each of you guys a $10,000 merch credit for Finish Line. I know that with the holidays coming up, you can definitely put that to your own personal foundation. So. Hello.